How you doing? Well, I'm sitting outside the uh, uh, Kirkcudbury actually in Dumfries and Galloway and the winds are uh, really whipping uh, along here out of the west. Uh, pretty gusty, we're uh, seeing some pretty intense showers as well. And over the course of uh, today, folks, we're going to be continuing to see a very strong, pronounced uh, wind that will eventually start to turn more to the, way, uh, the northwest and even the north. And what we'll, that will do is introduce uh, colder air from Iceland southwards across Scotland, Ireland and the rest of the UK over the course of today. And uh, we will notice that in the wind and indeed the temperature of the air itself it will start to become even colder than it is now. The showers we're seeing are packing quite a punch. Some pretty intense uh, sails producing very, very heavy rain. Uh, hail mixed in with that as well as some thunder and lightning as well as accompanying the instability in the atmosphere. The reason for the strong winds isn't so much the low pressure itself that was seen uh, dominate yesterday along with that front that it had attached to it but the, the, the high pressure that's now building uh, out of the southwest and associated with that with the, the, the low pressure over the Norwegian Sea that's uh, creating a pretty tight pressure gradient and indeed ushering in and funneling the cold air from Iceland southwards across the UK over the course of today as well as the wind and the air feeling colder we're going to be seeing uh, snow levels drop from about what started off around 600, 400 feet, uh, uh, meters, sorry, uh, will probably drop to around 200 meters by around uh, tea time tonight. And I wouldn't be surprised, folks, if we've seen some uh, sleet mixed in with rain down near sea level, so even in your towns and cities. Don't be surprised tonight with that northwest wind, that cold northwest wind, that you see some sleet mixed in with the rain. I don't expect it to uh, break out in the snowfall. I don't think the air down at the surface, down at sea level, is going to be quite cold enough. But certainly, uh, snow levels will drop to hills surrounding uh, many towns and cities through this evening. And uh, we will see the temperatures as the day progresses uh, drop. Over the course of tonight, we'll continue to see a pretty pronounced northwest wind that will keep the temperature probably just above freezing if the winds of course dropped off in those clear skies we would by without any shadow of a doubt drop uh, below freezing and quite comfortably so that will be the case tomorrow night over the course of the next uh, you know 12 to uh, around 24 hours now we're going to be seeing uh, more settled weather move in from the southwest but the problem is that the air today is now getting transported from Iceland southwards. So the air is going to be cold, despite the fact that we're going to be sunnier, and we're also going to be more settled tomorrow. That sets the stage for tomorrow night. We're going to be seeing clear skies widespread across pretty much all of the UK. Winds will drop off very significantly as that high pressure moves in, kicks out the low pressure uh, that um, is basically dominating the, the, the weather today between the fight between high pressure and low pressure. Tomorrow, the high pressure wins out. Tomorrow night, folks, uh, after a very chilly day where highs will struggle to get 7 or 8 degrees uh, across northern and central UK, around 10 Celsius for London, over the course of tomorrow night, we're going to see the temperature drop off very quickly, especially after dark. And many towns and cities away from the coast will drop below freezing tomorrow night. Rural areas, minus 3 to minus 6 widespread is possible tomorrow night. I wouldn't be surprised on Wednesday night into Thursday morning that we see somewhere down around minus 7 Celsius, some maybe the Highland Glen, somewhere like that. We will see a cold night tomorrow night. And this has been a forecast of my own uh, since a way, way back last week. And uh, I'm very pleased, to be honest, that the, the forecast has turned out pretty accurately. But certainly over the next few days, wrap-up warm is going to get colder as today and tomorrow progresses. And, of course, over the, uh, the during the overnight hours, it's going to be uh, very winter-like indeed. But looking ahead, folks, at uh, towards the weekend, we're going to be seeing the high pressure then move in. And it will, the actual amplified pattern that we're seeing across Europe at the moment is going to start to flatten out. What that means is it's going to force the cold air back northwards again, back towards Iceland and Greenland where it's come from. And what we'll see is a more zonal flow 
the, the flow more out of the Atlantic, and it means to say that we're going to see milder conditions. But the unsettled weather, unfortunately, folks, looks as if it's going to continue. And I continue to hold on to the aspect that uh, as uh, October rolls on and we're moving to uh, November, I think significant wind events, rain events, rain like yesterday might be a thing that we're going to be seeing more frequently over the next uh, you know, four weeks. And uh, it will be all a, a, a turbulent step in, into the winter of 2011-2012. So I'm sitting outside the uh, Kirkudbury. Uh, sorry, I can't even talk. We're sitting. I'm sitting outside Kirkudbury at the moment, and uh, I, I will close off for now. Hope you have a great day. Hope you stay warm wherever you are, and bye for now.